Anytime you say anything negative about abortion or you try to educate people on abortion or really just talk about anything if you're pro-life, the number one thing you hear is, where are your sources? I'm going to fact check every single thing that you say. I need sources and you need to prove what you're saying. But it doesn't seem to be the same on the other side. For example, a little while back, The Guardian, a very large Instagram account, posted photos of what the pregnancy really looks like at nine weeks, and nobody questioned it. It was completely false. None of it was backed by science. It was actually backed by an incredibly pro-abortion activism network, and nobody questioned the legitimacy of the actual photos. Why? Because when it comes to abortion, they're not concerned about the truth. That's evident. Because if they were, they'd all be pro-life. If they were truly seeking truth, it would lead them to the pro-life side. They have to stay ignorant. They have to lie. They have to manipulate because they're on the wrong side. And if you don't have truth, science, or logic on your side, you have to be manipulative. But I thought, let's take these photos, break them down, figure out where they came from, and understand how this is even happening. How are there 70,000 likes on a photo, on a string of photos that are completely false? I guess we'll figure out why. So I looked into where the photos came from and it comes from a group called Maya or MYA Network, which stands for My Abortion Network. And it is a surprisingly small group. I think the Instagram account has like 2,000 likes or followers or whatever. And so they're not a huge credible source or what you would assume would be considering the Guardian and Feminist posted the photos that they had put out into the world. So I decided to go to their website. And the first thing you notice is that it is clearly an abortion activism organization. Clearly. They're not concerned about real health care and it will become very obvious. So if you go to their website, they have a section called Abortion Normalized, which by the way, abortion should be stigmatized. It should. Abortion is not normal. Abortion is not good. And we should not be working towards making it more normal and lighthearted. It should be viewed as a terrible act because that is what it is. But if you go down, they have something called the issue of tissue. And it explains where these photos came from. And it gives you a little insight on why they created this campaign called the issue of tissue. Here's what it says on the website. Do you know what early pregnancies actually look like? You might be surprised to learn that pregnancies nine weeks and under have no visible embryo. And at six weeks of pregnancy, the so-called heartbeat is just an electrical activity of cells before an actual heart is formed. To every woman who has ever gone in for an ultrasound, that thing that you heard, you know, the thing that the ultrasound technician said was a heartbeat, they didn't know what they were talking about. You're crazy. They're liars. And it is definitely not a heartbeat. I have a feeling that this may be where Stacey Abrams has been doing her homework, where she's been researching about pregnancy and life in the womb, because it's very interesting that they're saying that there's no heartbeat when clearly you can hear a heartbeat. Clearly, we know that there is a heartbeat. All of a sudden, just now in this time and age, we're trying to pretend and lie to people that it's not a heartbeat, but it is. I assure you that it is. But if you scroll down, they have the photos that were pulled from this website, I'm assuming, and posted on Guardian of what a pregnancy actually looks like. And at the bottom, they say, at Maya Network, we are clinicians who know that access to safe abortion is essential health care. We unconditionally support people to make informed <laughs> choices about what is right for them, not only at these early pregnancy stages. I just... I just love, I just love the fact that they use the word informed, considering what they are doing is creating so much misinformation that people now all of a sudden have no idea what happens inside of a womb when a baby is growing. And it's just unbelievable. And they're doing this on purpose. They're doing it on purpose. The fake heartbeat that this is what pregnancy tissue really looks like, they have to do this to try to normalize abortion because they know and we know people are waking up. 
people are starting to understand that life begins in the womb, that it is a growing baby with as much value as you and I have. They know people are starting to open their eyes. They know that science is not working in their favor. They know logic is not working in their favor. And they definitely know that love and compassion is not working in their favor because there is nothing loving or compassionate about violently ending the life of an innocent human being, an innocent, precious baby. That is what abortion is, and they know that. And so what's their response? What have we seen for the last few years especially? They are working over time to lie and manipulate people to keep them pro-choice, to keep them voting for pro-abortion politicians who make millions of dollars from Planned Parenthood so that the abortion industry can continue the work that they do to make millions of dollars off of young women. Those young women who are walking in abortion facilities, they don't know they're the target to the abortion industry, but the abortion industry makes money off of them. And that is why the abortion industry is so dead set on keeping abortion safe, legal, and rare because they benefit from it. But they benefit from it at the hands of young vulnerable, alone, women, whatever walk of life they are coming from who get an abortion, they profit off of the desperation of women. And that's the reality. And so we have to ask the question, you know, why is this even happening? Well, it's happening because they have to continue to lie to normalize abortion. But what we also need to recognize is there is truth out there. We do know what life in the womb is like. You can Google, when does life begin? The first thing that pops up is a Princeton article that says life begins at fertilization. It is incredibly clear with the technology and the study and understanding of embryology. We know life begins in the womb. We know that. And so we can actually look and understand and see truth. So live action, when these photos went viral, when people were posting about them, live action came out in response with actual scientific photos of what life really looks like in the womb. And so I wanted to share them because we can't just combat them with more rhetoric, with more narrative, just saying you're false, you're lying. We have to be able to show that there is truth and science on our side. And these photos do exactly that. They have a photo of a baby pictured at four weeks. They have a photo of a baby pictured at five weeks, at six weeks, at seven weeks, at eight weeks, and nine weeks. And as you can see, it is incredibly different than the photos posted by Guardian. Most likely what happened is the Guardian activists um, took the sack essentially removed the embryo removed the blood and all of the things that come with it and just showed those but what we see is people are assuming and believing that that is the entirety of what happens in a pregnancy and that's just the reality and the reason this is so incredibly damaging the reason that it isn't so important for us to speak up and share truth is because people are believing these lies and they are creating and basing their entire view on abortion based on lies like this. And so I wanted to share a video that I saw on TikTok of a woman who was talking about this post by The Guardian and her thoughts on it. Here it is. Right now, abortion is banned in 14 states. Eight other states have their bans blocked, which means they're being battled out in the courts, um, and there's still a good chance that they are going to be passed. And I wanted to show you this image, given all of that, um, of what a six-week pregnancy looks like. This is from the Maya Network, uh, which is a terrific organization. And I wanted to show you this because this is what has more rights than you. <laughs> That's it. And this is a nine-week pregnancy. Okay, first of all, she's mad that there are laws that are applied equally to all people. And when she said this is what has more rights than you, not a single pro-life in the entire world is saying a preborn child should have more rights than the mother. What we're saying is they should have equal rights. If they are both unique individual human beings that are alive, they should both have rights. They want you to pit the woman against the preborn child to try to win with the argument. But the reality is we can apply a just law amongst all human beings. You should have the right to life if you are a human being. It's that simple. And so she's using this argument to spread misinformation and to try to say that, you know, laws that ban abortion are unjust and it's making it to where women don't have rights, blah, blah, blah. But then somebody did comment and said, well, that's fake. So this was her response 
to that comment. This is like totally fascinating to me because I this video hasn't been up long and people are so upset and mad and insistent that this is fake because it doesn't align with what they've been taught an abortion and a pregnancy is, right? Like, it's, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, it's literally tissue from a pregnancy. Like, that is what a pregnancy looks like at scale, mm-hmm. okay? Like, they're showing you the size and and everything. You are welcome to go to the website and, and check it out. But, like, I'm sorry it doesn't line up with what you've been taught, but those are just the facts. She's literally saying, I don't know what else you want from me. I gave you false information and I gave you a misleading photo. What else do you want from me? Well, I want you to do an inch inch of research. I want you to take three seconds and even think about what you're saying. Do you really believe that a heartbeat is an artificial or electronic beat? Whatever they even talk about. It's like, can we just think for a second whether or not we believe this? We need to let go of this tight grip on abortion that they have to question the narrative to ask is this really true anyways and if you look at the comments i honestly am just so sad for this generation because for example they are angry because they've been lied to but they don't realize this so they take it out on the information and wanting to make it false it's just ironic that's all that i can say it's incredibly ironic (sighs) they also said Yes, they want people to only think of chubby, healthy, fully gestated babies on smaller scales. Easier to use manipulation. Easier to manipulate voters. Okay. Okay, great. And I don't, yeah, anyways. And then somebody said, taught. I saw my six-week ultrasound today. I saw the embryo. I literally saw the heart beating. I wasn't taught. I saw today, hours ago. But I guarantee you this comment was brushed off as if this was some crazy pro-life activist. They're acting like we don't have ultrasounds. They're acting like we cannot literally see arms moving, legs wiggling, heads bobbing in the womb of alive and growing human beings. We can. The problem is if they dedicate more of their energy to believe the narrative that they're being fed than actually seeking out truth, then they're going to continue to be pro-choice. But... There is hope and I want to encourage you because we have truth on our side. You can Google when life begins. It says conception. We understand embryology. We know the development of a child. We know that there is a heartbeat in the womb. We know that it is a baby and we have the ability to prove it through science, through logic and through ultrasounds, honestly, being able to see life in the womb. But it's important for us to continue to speak up because, you know, what do they say? What's the saying? If you tolerate everything, you stand for nothing. And if we allow people to continue to lie, continue to manipulate, if we allow large organizations and Instagram accounts to spew blatant lies and misinformation, we are never going to see change. If we just quietly sit back and think, that's so misleading, then nobody's going to know the truth. And so we have to continue to step out in confidence and faith and know that there is truth on our side and that we will deliver it with love and grace for those people who have been misinformed because we need to make sure that the conversation is continued. We need to make sure that people are hearing the truth because they're not going to hear it from Instagram. They're not going to hear it from The Guardian. They're not going to hear it from feminists. They're not going to hear it from Maya Network. It is our job to continue to show up in boldness, to share truth and love, to make sure people understand that we are not saying preborn children have more rights than women. We are not misinformed. We are not pro-life because we are ignorant. We are pro-life because we know that no situation will be made better by the ending of an innocent human life. And that is why we are pro-life and we must use that as motivation and confidence to continue to speak up, to have the difficult conversations, to change hearts and minds about abortion so that one day we can see abortion not only illegal, but unthinkable and unnecessary.